After Elden Ring released, I finished it quickly and took a short break from it, until my girlfriend asked me a couple of months ago if I could help her finish the game. In my first playthrough I had already tried to help her, but we had a hard time against the end boss, so we first collected all other trophies except the endings. After the break we managed to quickly fight against Radagon as we had pretty good dodging against him. And she was finally able to hit her Kamehameha against the Elden Beast. Which definitely was its death sentence. I was very proud of her and we took yet another break from the game. Until now, my girlfriend is hungry for more. She wants the Holy Grail, the Platinum Trophy. So we started her new game plus and before I asked her to summon me, she had already killed Margaret and a journey started there. We made our way through Stormvale Castle and humiliated Godric. From there, we grabbed the keys to the academy. She thought she would be OP against the magic dragon, but as he has a resistance against magic, she was proved wrong and I sent him to the Shadow Realm. A similar problem appeared as we walked through the academy. Radagon's wolf tanked her attacks as well, and as he moves around a lot, like another red wolf like fuck. She wasn't able to hit most of her attacks and I took care of him. Sadly I lost the footage of this fight. We moved on to Renala and what should I say? It was the regular Renala experience. After that we went to the tunnel and killed the magma worm which was the first enemy who put up a fight. Just kidding. Well, not completely. He took more hits than Randala. On our way to the city, we saw Lancex, two tree sentinels, a gargoyle and more good. The last thing between us and the entrance in the city was the Draconic Tree Sentinel. I usually kinda struggle with him. Only thing I can tell about this fight is that base power level is Next thing we did was rush through the capital and then we arrived but free rather quickly and beat his ghost ass. Then she finished Morgoth so fast she was confused because she thought he had a second face. I helped her reach the lift to the giant mountaintops but after that she made her way to the fire giant on Torrent's back. I'm especially proud of this one because it's the first time we first tried it. I usually really suck at this fight, but this time it went really good. Crumpling Fire Missoula was the next destination on our journey, and even though the enemies are kinda tough, we had no problems making our way to the feared Godskin duo and proved how much better the mage and strength duo is because we make up for all weaknesses. Next on the list was Malikath. I was actually 
a bit scared of him. But he wasn't the problem. The tree sentinel before his boss room. That was the real problem. Attacking me when we are already inside the arena. So we finished him and after two failed tries we did him on the third try. Malikath so joined the others in the abyss. Now came a boss I actually forgot. Good old Gideon. And you know what? I know why. Shortly after that came the rematch against Godfrey. He fought well, but wasn't able to stop us from entering the Elden Tree. Now came the time we should fight our nemesis, Radagon and the Elden Beast. We had suffered on this fight before and we didn't want to repeat that. So we fought with all we've got. And this is the result. We did it, on our first try, we did it yet again after a short break from Elden Ring. Seems like we get better as we take breaks. Reflecting on this journey, our biggest problems were the invaders, as they level with us and not uh, with the new game class you're in. And yeah, 
We were kinda OP for the PvE. We found a lot of runes before and I think that's what made this run so easy. Sure, there are some enemies that put up a good fight. Radagon and the Elven Beast did a solid fight, like Malika for example. But others were just too easy with such as that in this low new game plus. And at the end of the day, I was only able to do one level up after this, and I started with, I believe, 2 million. So that says a lot about this. And as I finish this script, we yet stand again before Radagon and the Elm Beast for our Platinum Trophy. This will be the last ending for the both of us. So, wish us luck. Just kidding. Easy clap. <laughs>